What's going on, everybody? Well, I was really trying to stay away from this topic, but I got about, I think it was 11 or 12 emails over the past two to three days on HGA and what's going on out there. As everybody knows, I'm not a fan or a supporter of HGA at all. No way am I affiliated with them or anything like that. Um, and it's not saying that there's nothing wrong if you support them and that's the slabs you like and everything out there, but I just stayed away from them because I wasn't giving them free publicity over anything with their name associated with my streams. Uh, so big news with HGA, Tyler, what's his name? Hit height. However, he says his last name, I think it's Tyler hit stepping away from HGA. Did he really step away, or was he pushed out? A lot of rumors out there. <clears throat> the new group, Armstrong International, they have a big background, as you can see right there, founded in 1900, fifth generation, family owned, blah, 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 now has the ownership of it. Uh, like I said, I don't know what's rumor and what's fact. There's stuff out there saying that Armstrong International... What's the key word I want to use? Um, put money basically into the company. I don't know if they own a percent of it or how it was going down. And because HGA just started going downhill with everything, they quickly took it over and just bought it outright. There's stuff out there. Oh, Tyler had this planned all along to make all this money and buy his fancy cars and blah, blah, blah. You know, I have no idea what the truth is out there. You can sit there and read anything on the internet. You just got to, you know, look and figure it out for yourself. You know, it's all opinionated. It's not facts. The facts are right here because it's something that was publicized in words. I have not heard Tyler come out and say anything like that, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, looks like he's still part of the HGA family, make his vision a success. All You know, all the great PR stuff out there. You know, with HGA comes, you know, at a time to where we were in the bubble, somebody came out, started making all these fancy labels. Again, not a fan of it. Um, and I just was not going to support it. I did like their lethal lottery thing to where they controlled the inflow in. But that quickly got out of hand to where they were backlogged and stuff wasn't making hit times. I know that because I watched people's YouTube HDA reveals saying it was longer than 45 days. I mean, what happened to 10 days means 10 days or whatever their slogan was. I think that was their slogan. I can't remember now. Some of these new grading companies popped up, and most of them aren't even around anymore. But let, let's look at it this way. HGA and CSG relatively started around the same time frame. I can only think of one CSG mess up out there, and I'm sure there's more with labels and stuff like that. But I can sit there and think about a whole ton with HGA's labeling, their fake cards, their saying they graded fake autographs, which we knew the autographs fake them, saying they don't grade the autograph, just the authentic, just the card authenticity, which to me, if there's an auto on it, you got to still look at it, especially if that was supposedly from the company that made the card and not, you know, went out there and got it signed in person or through the mail, whatever it may be. I was also not a fan how they handled their first couple situations PR-wise on social media. And that's what really threw me mostly away because instead of just acknowledging it, driving forward, they started saying, well, other companies this, other companies that, oh, this and that. Just accept the fault, move on. That's the way I view it. Where other people might view it might be differently, but... Um, back to the HGA S or CSG part, when you really look at it, CSG's done a lot. They've now changed their labels. They prided themselves when they started with getting a veteran um, vintage grader from one of the companies and a veteran modern person from the, one of the companies out there. I, I think they both were Beckett. I could be wrong. Um, I don't know the facts on that. But they brought them in, 
and you had experts. At HGA, you only had Tyler, who was supposed to be the experts. He worked at PSA for I don't know how long and all that stuff. But CSG's made improvements along the way to where HGA has just stayed with the whole thing with their purpose being our labels are different. Uh, I want, I'm not a fan of somebody saying it's AI grading because as we've seen before through another company out there and from other people now using similar programs on how they use Photoshops and whatever else programs out there that mimic the Photoshops, how they get to centering. I don't think it's good to be using for the surface, definitely the corners and edges onto it. But again, I don't use the program, so I cannot talk either good or bad about it. I'm a more of a per the person that if you want to use it for centering, I'm perfectly fine for that. But I want you to physically look at my card for uh, surface, edges, and corners and not rely on a piece of computer equipment that's been programmed to think you know, however it's programmed based off of all these other submissions and yada, yada, yada out there. I don't call it artificial intelligence. As I told you, it's computer intelligence to me. It That was just a fancy terminology out there at my point, and a lot of people use it. But with CSG, they've actually grown. Now, Grand, they had a little more of a background. They already had the umbrella they were under with comics and all that other stuff out there, which was great. And this was always a point that I brought up in personal conversations when people talked to HGA. I said this. If my slabs would have allowed HGA on there, then they would have more of a reputation. They allowed CSG on there. And there's reasons behind it. People that have been doing this in the business for 20, 30, 40 years have seen these companies come and go. And with the more errors that were produced, granted, yes, PSA and Beckett, ton of errors. I can't really think of an SGC one offhand other than like maybe a wrong label or something out there. But they're still here today because of whatever they did to have their uh, vision of success out there. When I sit there and just look at the overall thing onto it, again, with my slabs, they allowed raw cards before HGA. So that means the people that own my slabs knew something was funky with it, but they never came out publicly to say it. You know, you do the right thing. You don't talk ill will out there. Because you have your own product, and you don't want to get caught in all that freaking gossip and drama and everything else that goes on. That, that's a lot of reasons why I stayed away from this because just like everybody's going to say, you got your PSA fanboys, you got your HGA fanboys, your Becca fanboys, your SGC fanboys, the 10,000 other companies out there now grading. When I go out there and look at shows, I see all these other slabs and people are wanting PSA pricing on it. I got it. HGA had some cells in their slabs, and they were supposed to be competing. But I can tell you now, you go in there and look at that, and you go on a terror peak, a lot of that stuff wasn't paid for. That's how you start catching on to stuff where those red flags, the question marks, your light bulb goes off, whatever it may be, you start going in depth onto it. Before I give them a dollar of my money and whatever it was used for, um, you know how those rumors are all out there as well, too. I want to make sure that I'm safe and secure onto it. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> I just had a conversation today. We had all these grading companies come out, right? When you think about it, they're all like, oh, we're transparent. We're going to show this and that, blah, 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 blah. Instead of sitting assigning grades to cards, okay? Instead of even giving it a letter grade A, B, and C, why don't you just come up with a, pro a program to where there's a small video to show the flaws of the card you look at, along with, you know, the grader's notes type deal that you can just click on your website shows that you can click to watch the video, and then you just seal it like how RCR is with Beckett, something similar to that. I got thicker stock cards, you'll have to one touch and do it and so on, but hey. It is what it is out there because then that's transparent to me. 
just because some grader writes notes onto something and I can't see where it is or you circle a piece onto something, show me in a video. Yeah, it takes a little extra time, but I mean, to me, that would have been a smart thing to do because people who are, were not educated in the grading process would have been able to be able to see that kind of stuff, and then they would have gained knowledge to do that because that's what we want to do. I know recently a ton of influencers have talked about all these grading companies now to include HTA. Now, I was really, really, I promise you all, trying to stay away from this subject onto them. I just, when I look at this, I don't see anything here. It says, oh my gosh, I need to start submitting to HGA yet. Until your company is proven through years of dedication, especially with Grady, when you already have Beckett, PSA, SGC, and now CSG out there, just because you make some fancy labels that makes this stuff supposedly cool to me, it was just not attractive to me at all onto it. Um, I really don't want to buy this stuff. And then when people are trying to pump it up at PSA prices, again, I'm not going to pay for that. Uh, when I pay for PSA, Beckett, STC, or CSG now, yes, I'm paying a premium because of who graded it, that company. And I'm putting my faith in that company. Some companies have guarantees. Some don't. Some that don't with social media have paid out because of it because they know social media will kill them but in the long run you know hopefully hga does something out there i'm um, with the new ownership of armstrong international and they actually because i mean i've seen stuff from employees that used to work at hga and i had to really think about this because i've had many jobs through the years especially moving around the army because um, you always had somebody different in charge of you I thought about this. How many times that I've actually would talk ill about an organization? Uh, or about, I could see about one specific person talking ill because they could just be horrible at leadership and, you know, their people skills and all that stuff. But overall, when you say the overall leadership there was horrible and the things that was going on by multiple employees, it really just makes me think, I really couldn't say it. Even when I worked for Osram Sylvania, wasn't a fan how they treated their people. But I gave them kudos in other parts. Was there ill will in that little area? Yes. But from what I'm hearing from, like, the people that used to work there, there's a lot of ill will going every which way, more than I heard good. But again, that could just be, you know, drama and stuff that's going on out there. I don't know what is fact and what is opinionated out there because I have no part of it out there. Uh, really to conclude with this, because I know I've been blurbing on, or <clears throat> excuse me, blabbing on. Allergies are starting to get to me out here now with all this pollen coming in. You know, I wish HGA good luck out there on their future endeavors. As um, you used to hear wrestling, um, uh, what do you call, call it? Uh, well, wrestling or wrestlers getting whenever they got their release paperwork from one of the big companies. We wish you best in your future endeavors. But hopefully they understand it's going to take a while to gain the public trust. and just not a certain little small group out there. You have to build on to all that stuff. And your first, you know, if it was my first line of it, of, uh, of going in there, I, and I seen that it was being run poorly, leadership gone, bring in new guys, you know, but I, I, again, I'm not involved in all this. So, and I don't know the whole complete background other than what's been put out on different social media platforms. And this here did come off of HGA's, uh, what is this? Instagram. <clears throat> so stuff like that, there I can say it's coming from the company. It has to be, you know, their facts. But again, we all know how PR goes, too. What I'm curious is uh, for everybody to email me or didn't email me, what are your thoughts and opinion on this with HGA? 
I mean, we all know the rumors out there. We know some of the, we'll just call the unfortunate incidences that have gone on with HGA from the cars being graded that weren't real. I believe we had, what, uh, the Tom Brady auto I could think about, the Lemieux rookie, the Gretzky rookie, and so on. To, I mean, I, we all know the, the Adobe art stolen work and all that stuff that went on and stuff like that back, I don't know what that was, over a year ago. But what are your thoughts on the whole situation there? With a new group, Armstrong International now taking over, I'm not saying you're going to go jump into grade with HGA because then we have, you know, another fifth. Well, we'll even throw GMA out there, a sixth company, now trying to divide, you know, to get people's dollars out there. Will you sit back and watch to see where it goes? Will you be like, oh, I'm going to give them a shot and grade some HGA slabs? Um, for me, I won't grade with them because I already got four reputable companies out there that I can go to. Until somehow they start, you know, verging in on big top three or big big uh, top two. I just don't see use them because companies have expanded. The backlog is being taken care of somewhat, uh, depending on which company you're at. And I think realistically, uh, we're going to see a lot of changes here by the end of the year. Just not with the grading companies. But with production, distribution, values, and everything else. Well, I'm going to cover a lot of this throughout videos over the next couple of weeks because it's just my thoughts and I just want to air them out. Um, you could agree with me. You could disagree with me. It's fine. Um, it's just my thoughts out there on this big, long, what's the keyword? Vlog that I've been doing for years on cards and just my thought process on to it. And, you know, I, I can't say I'm always right. I can't say I'm always wrong, but I just do what I do, and hopefully it works out for me in the long run on this stuff. I miss stuff. I've done well on stuff. It just bounces back and forth. But with this here, you know, if you didn't know the news, now you know the news. Um, but just curious what everybody else's thoughts are on to this whole thing that went on. I mean, it's, it's been a little bit of a stir past couple of days. It's been the hot topic, I guess. All right, guys, take care. No overtime Friday, which would probably be tonight because I think today's Thursday. I'm all messed up uh, with my days this week. Next week, we'll be back with overtime. Uh, try to get Jacob come on again. I had fun with Jacob on there with uh, Joey, so we'll see. If anybody else ever wants to come on overtime, just let me know. It's always come on there, hang out as long as you want. Ten minutes, an hour, don't matter. All right, guys, take care. Have a good Friday because I just thought it is Thursday today. <laughs> and have a good, safe weekend out there. Have a good Easter if you celebrate Easter out there. Um, hopefully the Easter Bunny brings you goodies and not anything bad out there. All right, talk to you all later.